When someone thinks of an engineering program which has got biology in it, the first course that comes up in mind is nothing other than biomedical engineering. In this video, I'm going to explain you what biomedical engineering is. What are the job opportunities when someone completes a course in biomedical engineering and what exactly is the syllabus that you learn for a biomedical engineering course? My name is Srividya Santosh and I provide unbiased guidance when it comes to higher education, premium institutes, entrance examinations, etc. Biomedical engineering is nothing other than the application of principles and problem solving techniques of engineering to biology and medicine. If you are interested in physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology while studying for your grade 11 and 12, biomedical engineering is one course that you can look forward. After completing your BTEC program in biomedical engineering, you can get into various areas of work. However, it will be better if you could complete your master's also. When you complete your master degree program in biomedical engineering, your opportunities become higher. Where all can you work? Let's think of the scenarios in which a biomedical engineer can get a job. When we get inside a hospital or a clinic, there will be a lot of machines. Whenever there is a problem in our body, a lot of machines are used to identify our problems. And there are some machines that we even use at our home, like a machine that can be used for identifying the sugar level of the human body. And even at homes, now we have equipments wherein we can identify the pressure of the human body. We all wear smart watches wherein we can identify the heart rate of the body, even the pressure of the body and so many things as such. And these equipments fall under the category of biomedical equipments. The designing, manufacturing, calibration and everything of these equipments are done by biomedical engineers. Biomedical engineers also work in the area of quality checking. Whenever there is a quality checking that has to be done in any of these machines, we will require a biomedical engineering. Also, when some of these machines get into the market, you need a training on how to use these machines, right? These may be machines that will be used for the diagnosis or it may be machines that will be used during the surgery. Whatever it may be, the physicians or the surgeons needs to be trained on how to use these machines and that would be done by biomedical engineers and a lot of scope is there in the field of research. So if you want to work in the field of research also, you can look into a course like biomedical engineering. For grade 11 and 12, it is better if you could take physics, chemistry, biology and mathematics. However, even without biology, there are universities that will give you admission. But when you start studying this program, if you have not studied biology for grade 11 and 12, it is going to be a little hard for you because you have human anatomy, physiology, you have things like uh, dynamics of biofluids and so many things which are related to the field of biology in biomedical engineering course, apart from the engineering syllabuses like the physics, chemistry, mathematics, or the material science, or the thermodynamics, or anything that a normal engineering student will study. Since a lot of biology is also included, I would advise you to go ahead with physics, chemistry, biology and mathematics in grade 11 and 12 if you want to be a biomedical engineer. 